Okay, where are we here? Now, I think the only last places we have to decide what to do with are this tiny empty area near Newport. River District? Mm, River District and there's that place in between the two highway interchanges. A bit of open area oh. there. Yeah, that sparse piece of land, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what to put over there? That's like backwater. Not backwater, that's like awkward. I have no idea. It's not really highly desirable land, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you could put, um, I don't know, industry, I suppose, or a business park. <laughs> it's kind of small, though. Yeah. Or, I mean, you, oh, you could just... Eh. We could make a... In, what is there, an industrial park or... um. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you could just fill it up with warehouses, I guess. Amazon warehouses. Yeah. Well, it's so, it's so close to the port anyways, it might make sense, maybe? Yeah. There's no... I suppose I could give it a direct connection to the highway. It might be a bit too cramped, though, because there's really two, like, um, interchanges, maybe? Or yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what to put here. Cause it's not a very large area. The river district is, you know, polluted and contaminated. So, yeah, we're not touching that part. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna do much there. What what usually goes in places like these in actual cities? I have no idea. Usually, just like warehouses too, right? Or like, it could be a park, I guess. Warehouses, yeah. Park. It's usually warehouses. In between like the highways, undesirable. I mean, there's an incineration plant there. Place <laughs> like a light industrial park or something. For real life, it could be like a zero waste facility, like the one on South Marine. Mm. Like near a um, Marine Gateway, this, the zero waste uh, facility. Mm -hmm. But do we have any? I mean, large warehouses are very large, so we'd only need like two of them to fill up the whole area, pretty much. Yeah, makes it look like we use the space, but in reality. <laughs> just for aesthetics. I barely used it, yeah. Just to put something inside there. Wait, why does it say on the education tab that we have not enough capacity for edu our university students? Excuse me? No wonder KPU ain't competitive. Dude, we don't have enough space for our Okay, okay, our should we, you want to move it back 11, to 11,000 eligible. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't we really yeah. not have enough right? space? Or, it has so much space. It it's, it's, okay. it's at 2.6k now. But why does it say we're in the red though for a uh, university? Okay, okay. Let's. Uh, should we put but back? Quantlin, Quantlin says its maximum student capacity is 20 is 9800. Yeah, 9800. What the fuck happened, hey? Eh? Why is education tab so wonky? That's so weird. Are they not going here because it's too expensive? I don't think it's because it's too expensive, is it? Was it the healthcare? Was it the insurance? It's not. No, we gave them that. I thought Steven said no, yes to lunch, but no to insurance, was it, or? Yeah, yes to free lunch and no to health insurance. That must be it. Dude, they can't claim your contacts and glasses every two years. Well, we can always put back uh, the modern technical institute. We can, do we delete the library? No, we leave the library, we'll find somewhere else to put the tech institute. We put it there. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, Steven gets it, eh? Oh, beautiful, man. Look, it's right beside the library as well. That's what I'm park. saying. Exactly. It looks right. Actually, I'll, I'll move the crematorium then, and then you can put a park on the other crematorium. side. Crematorium? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right it, I, we don't have to like, put like a hard park. It's more like you can make like a green space, you know? Oh, that's beautiful. Li beautiful library, beautiful tech institute crematorium. <laughs> so I didn't know where you put it for, so I just plopped it out. In case like, oh, they oh. get a heart attack, you never know. Yes, from their exam results. You ever get heart attacks from your exam results? No. no. Close Never. Though. I was really at peace on my results. One of uh, Nicole and Sam's friends, they, uh, they're they a type of person that gets a heart attack if they get 90. Because it's bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm like looking at my stats exam, I'm like, yo, I got 60. <laughs> I'm like, we take those. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I passed. Shit. <laughs> Just call this the Amazon processing hub. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What a fitting name. What a fitting <laughs> name, yeah. That's what you can call the neighborhood. I don't want it to be sponsored, though. Okay, we'll call it the some other forest processing hub. Nor do, you, you know my opinions of Amazon. Yeah, I know. You don't like Amazon? I don't even, AliExpress I don't, or something. I don't even use Amazon. You don't? Oh yeah, you, you don't even have the Amazon Prime. 
don't have it. Yeah. We're talking about it because I get free skins every single month. I I openly refused. <laughs> and Disney, Disney can go fuck itself. Are you all about the small business? A little bit. You don't like the big corporations. Yeah, fair enough. See, I'm gonna help you run water underneath your uh, your Amazon Gigafactory, or I'll call it the Tesla Gigafactory. How about that? Oh, okay. Well, well, we don't. I don't know. Are are, are we Tesla fans here uh, as well, or? Uh... Yeah, I'm a Tesla fan. I can't afford one, but... No, I... See, my electric car is in a Tesla. <laughs> uh, well... We're not sponsored by any EV brands here, so... <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not. We could be, if we start naming our districts, you know... Nudge, nudge. Uh, yes, they Dude, Isn't that one of the worst things to do in practice as a planner, is to name, like, streets after businesses? Like, they do in San no, Francisco. No, I don't call it bad, bad practice at all. It's good practice. It's bad practice. <laughs> We could have a deal right here. No, we could have a sponsorship. It's the Onyx. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Yeah. If we do. It's it's um it's Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> it's always Raid Shadow. We Legend. can make it happen, Onyx. Uh, this episode brought to you by Tesla and Raid Shadow. Then what are we gonna name this Maple Heights then? What is this? Uh, I don't. I uh. I don't know. What, what will we call this? Uh, I'm fine with Amazon, so... The warehouse district? How about warehouse district? <laughs> Actually, I got a name here. I got an idea. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna absolutely fucking mold. Make Onyx mold. Uh, Done. Same, <laughs> same day. Dude, what are these cliffs what? on the edge of the highway? What the hell? This is huh? quite common. There's when you have districts like this on hills overlooking the highway and such. Uh, yeah, they don't do anything too pretty, but that was a steep cliff is all I gotta say, you know? What are you talking about? Well, no one's going up or down it, and it's right by the side of the highway. Just put a sign down that says, beware of falling rocks. <laughs> that sign won't stop them because they can't read. Well, then that's too bad for them. They should have gone to Kwantlen. Viewers, if you have any better name that sounds even more oppressive, then let us know in the comments. More oppressive than the oppression office, yes. More oppressive? Oh yes, I can think of something right now. We'll call it, uh... uh... <laughs> oh. oh no, Steven. I like it. See, now we're talking real oppressive. Yes. This is worker exploitation. A worker exploitation district. Dude, amidst the inflation right now? Oh, this is madness. Yes. This is not even enough to cover your metro ticket to come to work. Do exactly, man. Do one... <laughs> one it's trend. a one-way <laughs> ticket only. Yeah, it's a one-way ticket. It's okay, they're working there for like eight hours a day, right? So... Don't... Can you imagine? Even a Big Mac meal is 12 bucks, so you gotta work four hours in order to earn a Big Mac meal. Dude, this I'm is so sad, think, man. Like, no and you can't get home... Than can't even get Big home Macs. after that. Can't even get home, yeah. Don't forget, you're here forever. See, you know something I'll give you as well? If you look at your $3 an hour district looking north, it's on a hill, right? So the views are actually pretty sick. Oh yeah, I know, it's quite nice. Imagine if you had residences here. Imagine. <laughs> you, there's a quite nice view from the back of this warehouse of downtown. If only they can enjoy it, you know, if they're not working like 10 hours a day on the, the factory line. Although, to be fair, you're probably smelling all the stuff from the farms right across the highway as well. <laughs> it's a sacrifice you're gonna so, have to accept working there. Yeah. But you know what? I think it's filled up. It's filled out the space quite nicely, actually. I think that should be the thumbnail of this episode. Just looking towards from the factory, looking downtown. Yeah. <laughs> just warehouses and uh, downtown juxtaposed in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Steven, can you move this this little station away? Like, can you go to can you go to um, Belmont Park or near Belmont Park? There's a metro station that like can you relocate it onto like the two lane, uh, like outside the train station, outside the train station. Actually, Steven, you want to move one step further as well? You see how Backwater Hills is still quite popular to this day. So if you want, this is quite an ambitious thing. You could maybe even think about extending the metro line from Belmont Park towards Backwater Hills. I, I think. Could... It would Yes, yes. Pretty decent demand. I, I will look at that. What do you want me to do with the station? Uh, we, we gotta redo the line. <laughs> Again? I, I did a little fuck up on Rainbow Road. Oh, 
tell me something I, I accidentally I accidentally edited to, to make it one link. I see oh that. My, oh my day. Look at you made an hourglass. <laughs> yeah, a secret funnel. Oh my days. Oh my dude, he destroyed the district. Oh my days. Yes. <laughs> dude, what the Whoops. fuck? This thing looks hideous. <laughs> this twice. medium load. That's twice now. Dude, Steven, you gotta stop this guy. This guy just murked one of our original district. This is Broadmoor. So wait, why exactly did you switch this from a four to two lane? I accidentally oh. clicked on something. <laughs> so wouldn't it be oh. easier for me to it just was, switch? It was, it was good on... Wasn't it be no, easier No, but the station's to... in the way. <laughs> I can't switch it back. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Dude, you're shitting on Richmond tradition, man. These are the OG districts over here. <laughs> they live in peace and harmony because they're undisturbed. <laughs> Like pretty much, we haven't touched the OG district, so they were they've been perfect ever since. Now I'm gonna piss off Belmont Park because I removed their metro station. Okay, I will before I reinstate the metro, then I'll extend it to uh, Backwater Hills. Oh, yay! I'm about to destroy. Oops, I destroyed a historical building. Nah, it's okay. Anything okay. for profit, right? Yes. Yikes. I don't associate with these people, okay? Wait, Stop. you're the one that drained out the oil. You you fucking <laughs> you fucking fucking onyx man. Yes. <laughs> don't associate with these people. I could I could miss all the shit this oh, fucking bad this, city tanner has done. All man. The done. Okay, alright. <laughs> tanner has this dirty past. Don't you forget. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey, <laughs> dude, short, you gave Shortville a, a metro line or a metro station? Yep. Yeah, I did. It's good. It's so juxtaposed. Hey, it's they, so funny. They deserve it. No, no, but the zoom in. Have to live on this road. No, no, zoom in. It's right along a dirt road. There's a dirt road, and literally beside it, there's like a fucking it's like, a, it's like high a metro station. Metro. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, know, the people so living there fun. should consider themselves lucky that they have a brand new metro the station. The city from... cares about them, but they don't want to upgrade their roads. The gen the their generous city next door. Hey, hey, hey this is an unincorporated township, is what it is. It's yes. not even part of like the city. And as Onyx said, you no, know, we only do road infrastructure upgrades during election year. So okay, well, it seems yes. like we never have an election year because we're just ruling forever here. So uh, well, I don't really care anymore. Yeah, yeah, That's I got the part. You they never get their road infrastructure upgrades. That's I'm why I can lazy sometimes, you know. But I know I don't get unelected, so. Wait, Steveson burnt down? What the hell? Did this happen? Is it Steve? a sign? <laughs> See, for you, Steveson burnt down. For me, Stanley Park burnt down. Not a sign, Aaron. It's not signed yet. Yeah, just wait till you know. You know what <laughs> predicts when we sign? In before Steven just launches meteorites all over the city, he says, oh yeah, that's a sign. Okay, let's oh, get out. Whoops, next city. <laughs> Oops, Oops, natural disaster, unavoidable, bye-bye. Well, it'd be faster for me to throw all everything else at the city at the same time. So like a magnitude nine earthquake and a tornado. Should we, should we do that as a banger episode to leave it on the end? You can finally test your... Uh... Once we properly sign off Richmond, we'll destroy it. Honestly, I'm down for that. that. That's honestly, a good uh, honestly, I'm honestly, I'm save file. Yes. And then we can end on a good note, or not? No, on a, on a legit note. You know, Ra Ra Richmond succumbed to natural disaster. So yes, and our citizens stand no chance because we didn't give them any shelters to flee to. <laughs> Boo hoo! On to the next one. You know, when Steven told me my monorail is just a people mover, is that what all public transportation is? People movers. Yes, technically, they are all people movers. In, in the same way, a car is a people mover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, this is true. But there is a technical sense behind a people mover system, which is what your monorail really is. Is that what it actually is versus... Yeah, well, technically anything that moves people is a people mover, so... <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to find where is our most populous district. Oh, by population? This is a fun game. I like finding the most expensive and the most populated. Okay, we're we're, already, yeah. downtown is 6.6k. We're giving our city a good once over as we uh, we take a look at things here. Look at some records. 
Old Richmond. Old Richmond is seven thousand seven hundred. Yeah, because it's it's actually this is actually Richmond, you know. The OG district. The OG. I'm, what's I'm surprised Steve's Broadmoor is not more because Broadmoor is so yeah, big. Richmond has actually a lot of people for how small the area is. This is, yeah, um, that's that's interesting, man. It's it's actually not very densely populated. If you look at it, it's quite like single family. <laughs> So why is it? Is this all just leveled up? I think that's probably why. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's leveled up from like ages ago. Okay, I think that's it though. But the end, end, end game is approaching upon us. The end is near. End is nigh, very nigh. It is. Oh, that was a good episode. That was a fun episode. Like, comment, like, comment, subscribe. Please, please, please.